What is going on guys? Welcome to Gregos TV. This is going to be a review for the Turtle Beach Recon 200 headphone gaming set. Now, this is compatible with basically any gaming console that you have. Everything from the Xbox consoles, the Playstations, and the Nintendo Switch. It's a wired headset. I've seen it for as low as 30 bucks. Retail price is 60 bucks, so you'll probably be able to pick it up somewhere in between 30 and 60 bucks. Let's do an unboxing, get these going, and I'll tell you what I think. So you see on the back of the box that they're amplified to thrill with amplification that drives 40 millimeter speakers to deliver immersive detailed gaming audio. Also you get durable design and adjustable metal reinforced headband is lightweight, flexible, and provides long lasting durability. Next gen comfort new for the gen twos, athletic, Fabric and softer memory foam air cushions keep you cool and comfortable. And lastly, a flip to mute microphone. Inside the box, you get a quick start guide, a very small USB to USB-C cable. Here's the headphones right here. Holding them in my hand, first impressions, they feel kind of cheap. Doesn't mean they're bad. Obviously the price being as low as 30 bucks, especially like during holiday season, probably indicates, you know, they're not gonna be the most premium feeling, but again, whatever. The, they, they're headphones, whatever. They're plastic, um, cushion, a little bit of cushion at the top. The cushion on these isn't crazy amazing compared to you know, the higher end ones. But again, we'll use these, try them out, and I'll let you know how that sounds. You do get a little cable here that plugs in directly to the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. The cable is bolted in there completely, so you can't replace this cable or get a longer one unless you get an adapter. Um, you're stuck with this cable, so if you break it, you're SOL. On the same side as the microphone, you do get controls for the chat audio and the, the audio that comes through the headphones, as well as a switch here, and then USB-C port, and like I said, the cable and the microphone. Now, I should mention that the headphones do have that USB-C port because they have amplified audio. If you wanna use amplified audio, the switch right here, you can switch it to either PlayStation or Xbox and get amplified audio for those consoles. You get about 12 hours-ish of battery life when this is fully charged. Otherwise, you can just keep it on basically off uh, and you can still use these as headphones. You just won't get the amplified audio. Hey dude, what do you think about my new headset? This is the Turtle Beach Recon 200 Gen 2. Dude, what's going on? How does this new headset sound that I got from Turtle Beach? Let me know. All right, so the Recon 200 Gen 2s. What do I like? What don't I like? Well, one of the things I don't like is that I don't have the ability to hear my voice through when I'm when I'm talking. So it obviously sounds pretty muffled when I'm talking. Like the microphone just doesn't feed through these earphones, unfortunately. Um, also, uh, what you might not like is that you, in order to get the best sound, you do need to use the amplification, which means that you have to charge these up by the USB-C port. Not the end of the world, because even when they're not amplified and they're just like basically off, then you still get pretty okay volume. You definitely, for me anyway, I would, I would have it maxed out, 100% volume through these earphones when I'm not using amplification. When I'm using the amplification, I have it anywhere between, I'd say, 50 to 70 percent and it's comfortable putting it up to 100 actually hurts my ears talking on the microphone it sounds okay it's a little muffled especially when i compare them to other uh turtle beach headphones that i've had in the past i'll link some down below that i recently did that do sound better than these and i mean if you can get these for 30 bucks though they're pretty darn good i mean like that's definitely a quality price when you compare like you know the, those kind of features when you're listening, just listening, you know, in terms of, you know, the gaming part, if you're gaming or, or talking to somebody on these, that sounds, like I said, it all goes in that volume. It sounds good. You can hear people coming up to you. You could, the volume is, you know, it's got nice thunderous sound when it's a big explosion or someone's, you know, shooting at you or you're shooting at somebody else or doing something along those lines. That just, it sounds quality. It sounds fine. No, that I really don't have any problems with the quality of that. It's just that, like I said, the amplification really puts these into another level in terms of the better sound, and that's what it's supposed to do, and it definitely does that. Um, the controls are very easy to find and figure out. Switching between the amplification on or turning it to the Xbox, if you're playing Xbox or the PlayStation, works perfectly fine. I like wired headphones, I'll be honest with you, due to the fact that 
you, I don't have to use these with battery life. I don't have to have these charged up to use them and all of that. So I'd recommend them, especially at the price they're at. They're definitely not the best, uh, you know, headphones I've ever heard in my life, but for 30 to 60 bucks, depending upon where you can get them for that price, I would say that they're, they're absolutely fine. The other thing I want to add is the comfort. I have these completely maxed out. My head is huge. I do feel it on top of my head in terms of like, you know, if I play long enough, it does kind of hurt my head just ever so slight, more of like a nagging, like, ah, get off me a little, you know, again, very, very slight. And I have a huge head. There's not, I wish there was a little bit more cushion up there. Maybe you could add some more cushion if you want. Uh, there's not a ton of cushion up there. Uh, they do make my ear, my ears sweat, you know, just like pretty much any other earphones too. If you're in a, a hot room or something like that, I have glasses on. They don't hurt my ears at all uh, right here. Uh, they're pretty comfortable. This is the only slight, slight uncomfort that I feel. So if you want to pick them up, link down below. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys down the road. Peace.